your thinking with the rational mind. What next? What is what next? Will I get? I am here. Will I get something in this one hour? You will not even have a long, deep breath. You will not even breathe in a deep way. You can see. If you desire, let me relax. Let me be playful. No problem. What is that? I will come. I will enjoy. It's okay. The moment you bring little playfulness, the moment you relax, first thing will happen is you will take a deep breath. Your breathing will be deep. Your body will start experiencing the prana. Prana means the life source, life energy. Only when you relax from your logic, the life force, the life energy starts working in your being. That is why in India we have a method called pranayama to cure the diseases. Working with breath, nothing else, just working with breath. You may think just working with breath, how can you cure the diseases? It's possible. Because those few minutes, you are not caught by logic. You see, all your disease is based on your logic. If you are taught to believe, if your logic believes, if you do all these things, you will have back pain. Even if you don't feel the back pain, you will be expecting, what is this? Today I did so much, still I have not got my back pain. <laughs> what is happening? Nowadays things are not going right. <laughs> things are not going properly. You will expect, you will wait, you will meditate till you get it. Because you live with the logic. Unless your logic is proved, you feel uncomfortable. Unless your logic is fulfilled, you feel disturbed, you feel that you are not living. You feel that your whole being is shaken. Constantly, you create hell by your own logic. It's like a, you carry, you carrying your tent. You carry it. Wherever you go, wherever you want to rest, you erect your tent in half an hour. Same way, you carry your logic. Wherever you go, just you erect your hell in half an hour and start living with it. See, whenever you see in movies a beautiful snow covered mountain or a beautiful beach or a beautiful natural scenery, you feel that you should be there to enjoy a beach or an island. You always feel you should be there. But actually when you go to that place, you think, all right, when is the next flight? All right, what should I do next? Why you always feel like going to that place? And after going there, why you feel that you should do something next? Why you are not feeling that relaxation or joy which you think you will have it? Understand, it's an important truth. Because I am a traveler, I tell you this secret. This is the important secret, truth. First of all, why you want to go to that kind of places, you know? Deep down, always you have the thirst to go away somewhere where nobody knows you, where you don't need your logic to protect you. Understand? It is not interest towards that place. It is not interest towards that island or mountain or ocean or that place or it is not even interest towards location. To go to a place where you don't need your logic for survival. To go to a place where nobody knows you. Where you don't have to use your identity. Where you can be free from your identity. Your identity is like a Present for you. You just want to be away. You just want to do whatever you want. 
You just want to be away from your identity. You don't want to be recognized by anybody. And the same way, you don't want to see the faces which you know. In deep down, everybody has got that craving, that feeling, that thirst. So whenever you see a place for the first time, you know that nobody knows you there. So naturally you feel like being there. But after going there, you understand, you know you. You are carrying a person who knows you completely. He is constantly behind you to haunt you wherever you go. Your intimate enemy is with you. So you are not experiencing the joy or the feeling which you thought you will experience by being there. Even after going there, you will try to introduce yourself with your existing car to people. <laughs> you are there just to get rid of your identity. But even after going there, you will tell, hey, do you know who am I? Do you know what I am doing? How dare you sit next to me? You will try. You will try to introduce and create new people, new friends. And within one or two days, you are ready with your health. And now you know many people and they know you. Again, the charm of the new place is lost. Now you are back in the same rut. And again, now you see something else in the TV. You are, now you are planning to go to that place. Because I am a traveler, so I tell you, it's an important experience. It is not the interest on the place, not for vacation. It's the interest to be somewhere where you don't need your logic to protect you. Where you don't need your logic to live your life. Where you don't need to constantly protect you with your identity. Where you can survive without your identity. Try a simple experiment, very simple experiment with beautiful meditation. To visualize and change your identity and live for a week. If you are a doctor, start thinking strongly you are an engineer. If you are male, start thinking strongly you are a female or gay. Something. Just shift your identity. Just for a week, try this experiment very playfully. Very playfully. If you are old, visualize you are young. If you are young, visualize you are old. Just opposite points. Or some other points. It doesn't even have to be completely opposite. Some other points. Create a new identity with all new points and try to visualize for a week. Just for a week. You will understand the amount of liberation you feel.